Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video we are going to go over the control center in the new iOS 7. And I uh, just want to let you know that we have a full playlist of all the iOS 7 features and I'm going to put a link in the description section below so you can go and watch those. So let's take a look. So if you pull up the control center from the bottom, okay, on the top you get five options. The airplane mode, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the do not disturb mode, which you can tap to turn that on and off. And then you also can lock or unlock your screen orientation. So if you don't want your screen to flip when it's in the um, landscape mode, it's not going to flip. So let's unlock that. Oops. Because I want that to flip about. And then uh, you got the brightness bar here, slider. So you can reduce or increase the brightness. Okay. And then you've got your music um, widget here where you can play music. Okay, pause music, go to the next track by tapping that, and you can change the volume. Alrighty, and then you've got the airdrop functionality here. If you tap this, you can choose from uh, off, contacts only, or everyone. Cancel. And then you've got the airplay function, which lets you send your iPhone screen to an Apple TV, which you can then view on your big screen your high definition TV and then at the bottom here you've got access to some quick apps here's a flashlight toggle so if you tap this the flashlight light gets on you can turn it off and then we got access to clock app okay and then you've got access to the calculator app and then you've got access to the camera app really quickly Okay, so that is the control center on the iOS 7. Now, if you go into the settings, you have a couple options you can tweak for the control center. So what you can do is you can cancel access to the control um, center on the lock screen. So if you tap this to off, you're not going to be able to access the control center from your lock screen. In fact, let's try that real quick. So there's no access. Okay, in fact, there's a tiny slot bar up down here that disappeared as well. Okay, and the other one is, do you want to access the lock, I mean the control center in your apps or not? So if you have this off and you go out and you go into an app, you're not going to be able to access your control center. Okay. Now if you have it on, then you can go to an app and you have access to it. And in the lock screen. Okay, So those are the functionalities you can get using the control center on the iOS 7. Well, thanks for watching this video and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you the next time. And make sure to go down to my description section below and click the link that will take you to the video that is going to cover all the iOS 7 features. Thank you.